Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 2016. I'm sitting down with Moritz Brunhofer from Hans and & Gluck, and you brought us First Class. I did. Hi. Thank you for being here. Um, well, First Class is our new game. It's a gamer's game. Um, some of you might have mentioned the author. It's uh, Helmut Ole, one of the authors of Russian Railroads. And some of you, uh, if you know Russian Railroads, uh, you might remember some of the mechanics, though you don't need to have to play it. Um, it's, it's totally new and, well, it's, it's also a bit more open. Like Russian Railroads was great, but it had a problem of variation. So this one is different. We extra, extra designed it for being more open. The, the key thing is we are having two trains we want to develop from the shitty um, wagon where nobody wants to sit to the first <laughs> class uh, wagon where everyone wants to travel with. So, and by surprise there are numbers here so that indicates the points you get. The higher the class, the more points you get. So that's not very, um, very uh, complex. Anyway, the game is uh, being uh, done by uh, action cards. So we have uh, over 300 cards in that game. And the, uh, the motor and mechanics are, we are having some cards in the, in, uh, for us and we just ever pick one, take the action, next one's turn. But as you might um, imagine, things are getting um, more and more and um, at a certain point you're tending to do some big chain reactions, like you get one action and you get another one for that. You're unlocking good stuff and you're trying to unlock even more, being faster than the others. Well, so there's a big... Um, well, growth in the game. So in the middle of the game, you have most people have at this moment. Oh, oh, oh! I see. <laughs> there, there we go. The aha and, moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, the so-called aha moment. And then um, you see a bit more into the deepness of the game. And um, well, um, so every game we play with so two so-called modules. Here we have the A module, and um, there's a B module. Uh, surprisingly, there's a C, D, and E. <laughs> and uh, every game we need two of them. But you can't mix them totally into uh, which is better, but you always take two. So you um, have always a different game because these are all actually cards, but they play differently. So one, some of them we have some contracts more of them, some they are VIPs you put into your, um, into your trains and they give you more points or you have some uh, passengers or um, luggage you get in. So by getting in I mean you're attaching them to your uh, to your train like this, so now there's a VIP in that wagon, for example. <laughs> so uh, that is doubling the points, just very simple. So it would be more wise to put it here anyway. Um, there, there's another one, like there we had a crime scene, a murder in the in the first class, uh, like it's an Oriental Express. So <laughs> this is quite a bit mean module. So you're distributing so-called evidence tokens with fingerprints and. Well, the hook on that is the one with the most fingerprints in the end cannot win the game. So he got arrested by police. Does not have to be the murderer if he's playing clever. He can uh, get someone else to be arrested. Sounds a bit strange for a strategic game, but it's working pretty well. So you <laughs> should definitely try that. So it's a bit more the fun part of it. Others are um, giving you, for example, they, they will be will placed between your two tracks and then they, they work for both uh, trains. Um, so they all play differently and have a different setting. So right, far. and I wanted to highlight too that since this is very much card game based, you guys have included a really spectacular insert here well, yeah. for yes. storing yes. all the cards yeah. with, and labeling them all. Yeah, that's um, that's very useful because like in the end you you um, clear the things up and you put them here. The next uh, next time you you put the game game on the table, you just need couple of minutes to, to set it up instead of if everything is mixed you, you probably need 20 minutes so right. nobody wants that <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I, I just you know I always really appreciate when you guys think about the entire experience both setting up and taking it down so. try to, yeah. <laughs> now because I, I imagine this might be a little variable depending on what modules you have but how uh, what's the average amount of time it's going to take us to play it's usually um, let's say experienced players do it by 50 minutes per player so if we play together we will do it in 30 minutes probably know uh, with four players take an hour so yeah it's pretty it's not that long the first turns are very quick the, the last turns sometimes tend to be a bit longer because of chain reactions and uh, management stuff but uh, that's also the joy for you because you made a great move <laughs> <laughs> well Moritz I really appreciate you letting us take a look and yeah, if you guys you. want to check that out this is first class followed by Hans and Glick thanks again thank you